Uh, joining me today to discuss industrial cybersecurity is Kevin Senator, CEO of Bayshore Networks. Welcome, Kevin. I said, great to be here. Thank you. Uh, you know, industrial cybersecurity is a very broad topic, as you know very well, and so to just start this discussion, could you kind of frame where Bayshore Networks fits in that, what you do, and how you might be different? Yeah, sure. Bayshore's focused like a laser on what we call active protection. So we have deep knowledge of the OT space with OT protocols. We've developed a significant library of uh, asset class uh, policies to be deployed, and we've developed a learning engine, uh, which we'll talk about at some point during the interview. Uh, that's what we are. We are, uh, our goal is to be the best out of the box asset uh, uh, protection uh, device on the marketplace. Okay, that helps. Uh, you know, with your focus on protection, can you kind of describe how you differ from, uh, say, next generation firewalls? Yeah, um, our friends at the next generation firewall companies are great, great folks. They're taking uh, an older paradigm from the enterprise side and trying to inter overlay it for uh, the industrial. This box uh, that we built, this solution that we built, was built from the ground up specifically for complex OT environments. It was developed by people who came from security, machine, machine learning, uh, ICS controls space. In a nutshell, what we do is we create the same blacklisting that most appliances do. You know, we take feeds, we create filters to load out on the box. We call them policies, right, to block. But the nugget that we have here is what we call our learning engine. The learning engine goes in line, um, either on it can go on a listening mode or actually in line, and it actually will create a rolling mathematical whitelist of what you normally, how you normally would communicate between either assets of the same class or assets of different classes. And when it sees something that's not normal, it sends an alert. But beyond just sending an alert, which many of our friends do today, it sends a fully formed policy to be deployed, which either can be deployed in line automatically once a, a CISO has a comfort level that there aren't any false positives, or at a minimum, it takes the workload off the analyst by sending them a fully formed packet you can uh, look at it, decide that this is deployable, and immediately deploy it. Yeah, well, it's very interesting, and, and it is quite different, I would say. Uh, given that the, where you are right now, the, what, what are your plans to further enhance your product? Well, I mean, uh, it's an exciting time, right? The business over the past 12 years has really kind of uh, spiked. What we're doing is um, enhancing uh, our uh, posture around our engineering team. So we're opening, we're currently in Bethesda, we're opening up a facility in Raleigh. We're also opening up a facility in Spain. Uh, this will be to enhance the number of policies we can write, how we can interface to extract data out of other uh, customers' products, for example, SIMs or visibility engines, so on and so forth, trying to make our box again the easiest to use, or most robust active protection box uh, in the industry. So there's a lot of investment going into uh, Bayshore right now, today. Oh. What about partnerships? You know, one thing I see in my work is partnerships have become very important, particularly in today's world, I mean, yeah. a very competitive world. Right. You know, how, well, how do you approach that, or is that a focus yeah. for you? I, I, as a CEO, I split partnerships out in three ways. Now, most of the companies here that are here with us today have you know, been in business for maybe two years or so, so number one is your funding partnership. You know, do you have the legs to ultimately deliver as a standalone company? We have great partnerships there. We have, you can go to our website and see Yokogawa, Samsung, uh, Trident Cyber Ventures, which is one of the best venture funds in the Valley, along with uh, PGV Ventures. So from a funding partnership, we're very strong. The second one is simply a sales partnerships. We've got a great one. You know, we, AT&T got in early, both as a partner and a customer. Uh, we're very deep into their IIoT solutions group. Uh, as they build, tr they're trying to build a large ICS uh, capability within their company. Uh, we recently just signed partnerships with uh, NTT Communications in Japan, uh, with Dell and with RSA. So for a company our size, we believe we have four right partners to really co to cover the areas that we're selling in, who are very technically competent in being able to deploy to their customers these types of solutions. 
and of course have the legs to put the investment into this type of marketplace. You know, one of the things we see is, uh, you know, companies always are struggling to justify investments in cybersecurity in particular. How does Bayshore Networks help yeah. companies with that? Is that some, you have a special method or approach or something? Well, we, it, 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 so, you know, I, I'm at kind of at the end of my career, right? As unfortunately you can tell. And so I've seen a lot over the last 40 years. I've seen some technologies take years to take off. I was worked for Toshiba when they introduced the first laptop and that took off within a day. Um, when I started here a year ago, if you called into a major corporation, you were side, you know, pushed it off to the side to some OT analyst that lived off in Boise or something like that. Today, over the last 90 days, we've been speaking to the CISOs of the largest companies, and they're in educational mode. Tell us what you do. How would you fit in all these different uh, other solutions that have been developed over the past two years? They're trying to sort through what their protection profile is going to look like, who are the vendors that are going to have legs, and who's going to be around. Um, when we go in to talk to them, most of them are fairly knowledgeable about what's going on in the, in the world. and. Um, they know about the Ukrainian uh, steel complex coming down for a week. They know that somebody hacked in and set the sirens off at Dallas. So, you know, you can go to uh, an auto manufacturer or, you know, a coffee grinder, but they see this stuff and their first question is, how would that affect me? Okay, here's how they went through these PLCs and these how they took control of the equipment. And then they want to know how can you protect them. So I would say it, it's sort of amazing, but the conversations in 12 months have completely changed. And most of the ROI issues I have found have, are just not even on the table anymore. You're, they're oh. they're going to spend money, but they, just like everybody else, they want to spend it judiciously. They want to know where do you fit in my overall posture that I'm going to put in, right? Well, thank you very much, Kevin. It's been very, very interesting. Yeah, pleasure. Today we've been speaking with Kevin Senator, CEO of Bayshore Networks. Thank you for watching.